Hey everyone, welcome to a DCS mission called Dubai Dispatch. This is one where you fly a search and rescue helicopter in the Persian Gulf area near Dubai International, and you fly to and from a hospital rooftop uh, helipad, and you get sent by dispatch to random locations around the area to pick up people who require assistance and then bring them back to the hospital. This is a good way to practice helicopter skills, and some of the LZs are pretty tight to get in and out of. Now the original mission was designed with a Huey. I modified it to fly the hip, just personal preference, but the increased size of the hip does make some of these a bit more challenging than they would be in the Huey. So I expect a few crashes today. So let's get started. Uh, the briefing there says we are on search and rescue duty for Dubai. We have to take off and head to the general hospital at 316 for 1.5 nautical miles. There's a windsock on the roof of the helipad, the medical board with equipment as soon as I touch down. From there, I can contact dispatch, they'll give me an incident, and a marker will be placed on the map, as well as white smoke once I get close. So that's pretty much it. Let's uh, fire it up here and get going. So helicopter's hot started, so we don't have to do that. We are going to adjust our radar altimeter. I like mine really, really low so that I know when I'm about to touch down. Going to set lights. And the same thing over here, dome lights for better visibility, so that you can actually see all my instruments here. All right, 316 for 1.5. So if we, I'm going to turn on my controls indicator here, kind of roll ourselves over this way, about there. <clears throat> now that cluster of buildings in the distance, that's where we're headed. All right, so we're going to put our brake on and try to get this thing trimmed for takeoff. Add a little bit of collective. Try to zero out any movement we're seeing. A little bit forward. And trim. All right, so the helicopter trimmed for takeoff. I should. I'm not quite trimmed yet. There. Should be able to just add some collective and lift more or less straight off the ground. And we're going to pitch back a little bit. Good enough. Now we can try to adjust our trim from here into a sort of stable hover. That looks not too bad, honestly. The better the hover can be now, the easier it's going to be when we get to that general hospital and need to touch down on their helipad. So. I'd prefer to take my time, get something reasonably stable. All right, I can work with this. Let's get moving. Do a nice illegal takeoff. Buzz all the people down here. Buzz the train. Nearly take out a tree. We are the worst medics ever. Or potentially the most dangerous medics. Luckily, there's nobody on board yet. Still, I'm pretty sure I would have been fired long ago on the spot. All right, so our hospital is this building here with the windsock, a little round helipad on top, right there. I 
Now all we have to do is stay out of VRS and make our way over. I said stay out of VRS, not immediately enter it. Now what's interesting is with the Huey, this isn't the hardest landing in the world because the Huey is not that big of a bird. The hip is quite a bit larger. And so I struggle oftentimes to bring the nose forward enough and often hang the ass end of the bird off the back of the helipad. My front wheel is actually under me. A little wobbly. That was a rough landing. But we've got strong landing gear, we can take it. But you see what I mean about how easy it is to hang the back of the bird off. Alright, so the medic's on board, so we can... I think it's that. F10, and dispatch, we are ready for tasking. So we are going to a private clinic lot, 224 for 5 nautical miles. Alright. So, uh, we'll turn to 224 and start heading out. Now this bird is in metric, so instead of 5 nautical miles, if I actually wanted to use my Doppler nav here, I could set this, and it's probably more like 7.5 or 8 kilometers. Yeah, probably something like 8 kilometers. So that's actually quite a ways away. But 224. So just about straight behind us. lift up, turn, two one zero, two two zero, two two four. So this way for about eight kilometers. Now there should be, when I get close, white smoke popped in the area. There's also a map marker, so if I wanted to open my F10 map, I would have a waypoint listed. And because I've forgotten to turn off my um, labels, I will probably see some labels when I get close as well. So we're going to continue with our highly illegal and dangerous flight path right over top of the rooftops here. Just kind of keep going this way. So I could trim this out for forward flight, but when we're only going a few kilometers, really it's not that big a deal. I almost prefer to keep it trimmed for the hover that I was in, even though it wasn't great. So I'll just hold the joystick where it is for now rather than retrim it when I get there. So somewhere out here there should be a private clinic parking lot and I should see some white smoke. Because of the distance, it could be quite a ways down still. That's where setting the Doppler nav would help, because I would know exactly how far I'd moved. Oh, there we go. I see white smoke. All right. So we're headed in there. So we're going to start slowing down. We're going to circle around our LZ. Parking lot down there. 
Looks like we're coming in pretty much straight vertical. Actually, so the most room here is to my left. So if I move over and stay out of ERS. But it looks like my best entry point might be in from this direction. I have the most room behind me. It'll be the safest. And then... My other option would be just to drop straight in. And then I'm right in the lot. Which might be easier so I don't have to maneuver around that tree. But I won't be able to see what's behind me very well. And the smoke will be in my way. So I think we're going to land over here out of the smoke come in where I was talking about initially because that smoke completely blinds me it's like they were trying to be helpful but weren't There's that tree. We need to move away from it. Move over just a wee bit. And then we'll come forward through the smoke. not into the tree. And then set down in the parking lot. All right, we're down. So the medic is being, or the patient's being loaded. Patient loaded. Go, go, go. All right. So now here's the other thing where having the Doppler nav would have been nice. Um, we came out here at 226, if I'm not mistaken. So then we can do the math and set our return course from here. So if I were to do that, 226, if we turn around 180 degrees, do the math, is 146, 046. So if I set 046, on my Doppler nav, and then I set about, what did I say, 8? eight kilometers, roughly, and then turn the Doppler nav on. This should point us in the right direction. So 046, so we're just off to the right a little bit over there. All right, so we're gonna be doing a complete vertical takeoff here because there is no room to get any forward movement. Another reason why having that solid hover trim is handy, even though mine is not great. It's good enough that I'm just having to make little minor adjustments. All right, and we come up, and we turn. We're headed 046, so about here. And this should bring us back where we came from. Can let go of my brake now. So 
So here's the part where I have to be a responsible pilot and not buzz everybody and fly around erratically. So I've got an injured person in the back now. We can see our Doppler nav down there ticking down. Now is that the hospital right there? I think that might be it. I think I overestimated the distance here. Or is that just another one that looks the same? Yeah, it just looks the same. Darn recycled assets. question is, do I trust my math? And the answer is no, I don't. I really don't. There it is. That'll be it there. Or will it? Well, that doesn't look like it either. Same building, but the cluster is not right. Well, let's continue further, because it still says I have to go another kilometer and a half, so that would be over here. <clears throat> that looks like it. I just need to trust myself, I guess. Alright, so we can start slowing down. That's our building. So we'll circle around here. Stay out of VRS, but we'll come down. Set down. They're being unloaded. Stand by. My horrible, horrible descent. An awful pattern. And look at that. So, see what I mean? All right. We're clear. You know, you think you're okay, and then you underestimate the size of this helicopter. We should be dead. We are lucky that the model is solid there, even though it's visually transparent. Either that or I'm riding right on the little pin. Yeah. So, again, I should be fired. But let's pick up another patient. Why not? F10 and dispatch. We are ready. 
263 for three nautical miles at the East Pier. Injured sailor with major contusions. So 236 for three. So that's actually about five kilometers. And we're going 236. So we'll lift up. Turn. Kind of going right back where we were just a minute ago. We're going to 236. Right about here. And forward. So this is a really great mission to sort of practice your takeoff and landing. Bit of navigation, bit of spotting. And because everything is automatically generated, you can pick this up and fly it, and it'll always be a little bit different. And if you don't like the LZ, or you've done it before, you can just request more tasking, and they'll give you a new one. So we follow along here, and we should see white smoke somewhere around the area. Probably don't need to be going as fast as we are. Truck pulling double tankers down there. Track IR is kind of important to have for this, just because of the spotting. Being able to keep your head in a swivel, look around for that white smoke. There it is. Landing right next to a boat. Start slowing down. That should be an interesting spot, right on the pier. Yeah, so it looks like coming in in front of that green boat. And that's going to be a tricky one with the size of this helicopter. So I'm going to kind of have to come in on an angle, I think. Let's come down a little bit. I think we're going to have to... Oh, this is going to be a tough one. All right, so we're going to have to come in and then turn left once we're over the land. Or kind of just translate in, but I can't see my tail. Maybe getting over the boat then. I'm turning here. <clears throat> and then coming straight down. Right in front of the smoke. That might be the easiest way. So let's back ourselves up a little bit. Either way, I've got a few blind spots, and now I'm in the smoke and I can't see. All right, so let's have a look at that. We'll come down a little bit. Back off. How's that going to work? I think that might be the best bet to come in from here. Yeah. So let's come down and right a little. And then just slot in right here. That should work okay. Look 
looks like we're on, we're centered, and we're down. Loading rotation, stand by. <clears throat> All right, so we were 236 to come out here. So if we do the math again, that's going to be 056. We're going to hit our break here, lift off. And I think we're safe to exit stage right. Now that we're down and we can see what's around us, so we can come out this way. Pick up a little bit of forward movement. There we go. Now we can come back up and turn to our heading of 056. So, from what I understand about the mission, nothing is too, too far away. The ones that I've done are pretty standard. There are some that are even closer. So you kind of learn the area a little bit as well. And then you stop having to rely on actual navigation because you know where you are, you know where the hospital is, you know the landmarks. I've only flown this a couple of times before I started recording. So I'm not overly familiar with it yet. So I'm still sort of relying on headings and that, and just, uh, yeah, that, sometimes even the map to figure out where I'm going. The recycled assets in DCS definitely don't help for this kind of thing. In the real world, these buildings are more or less all unique. You wouldn't have two buildings that are identical. They might be close, but they won't be identical, generally. At least not uh, general hospitals, anyway. Apartment buildings, absolutely. But a lot of these skyscrapers should be fairly unique. And they're not. Now, is that our cluster of buildings right there? We weren't very far. I think that's us. Yeah, there's the windsock on top. That's us. you start to recognize other things like the yellow roof behind it or the water here again I would get fired for doing this with a patient on board and entering VRS and hopefully we don't die there we go So we're actually struggling to climb here. We've got a fair amount of weight on board. That was entirely my fault. And now we can kind of inch our way over. Adjust our trim again ever so slightly. Now this time we will want to come in just a little further and then set down. Being How do we do? Oof, one wheel off. So you see what I mean? I routinely underestimate the size of this bird. So that's a look at Dubai Dispatch. Uh, I'll put the link to the mission in the description below so you can go check it out. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And if you want to modify it to be a Huey or a HIP, well, it's a Huey by default. If you want to modify it to be a HIP, it's quite easy. Just go and open it up in the editor, change the helicopter type, and then you're done. If you wanted to take it a step further, you could change all of the mission, um, all the distances into metric instead of imperial so that you wouldn't have to do the conversion in your head, but this works fine. Until next time, we'll see you guys soon.